everyone welcome to uniskill smart ideas today we are talking about mail merge feature which is available in microsoft word and we can make certificates in bulk or we can make bulk emails now this bulk doesn't mean that we are careless it means that we can customize our communication be it our emails or this is our letters to be printed or to be sent as attachments or we can make certificates in bulk now making certificates in bulk is a real concern these days apart from the autocrat that can be used on google sheets like we apply it on google sheets and a certificate which is there in google slides or google docs can be sent uh, customized like uh, their names and uh, people will be receiving it and without getting to know that it has been sent to others also their name and everything will be there as you want it automatically so that one is used that video is also there you can watch it on our channel today we are talking about microsoft word mailing and mail merge feature so this is the certificate that you can see we have designed in this certificate we need to have the name here we need to have some expertise here we can add the date on which date it is being awarded and this is the grade earned by the recipients this is one certificate which is required to be made for maybe 40 50 1000 10000 people so what we'll be doing is we have prepared this data or we have this data through google form anyway this is a microsoft excel in this sheet we have got the date line name initials teaching subject of the person grade expertise email id city and state and mentors mentors means the people who are are going to sign the certificate so first we are working on how to make a certificate using mailings and the mail merge feature in microsoft word so the very first thing that we need to do we need to have this data ready because after all this data is going to get there with a few clicks or we can say single click for single person now this is the certificate here we need to have the name so very first thing we'll do in microsoft word 2013 and beyond 2010 is also having that this is an old feature actually of microsoft word so we go to mailings we go to select recipients and when we go to select recipients we know that we don't need to type a list because otherwise we can type a list and that list can have these insertions but we are going the way these days we need to do it so we go to select recipients we go to use an existing list and this is going to make us browse for the source so we go to that particular folder and in that folder we are going to get the sheet so this is the sheet which is going to be integrated with it now it has uh, three sheets in that spreadsheet in the document so which one is having your responses so this is the one form responses not sheet one and two so what we'll do we are going to select this one and we'll allow mailings mail merge microsoft word to fetch the data now you see this particular thing which was inactive which was gray has turned active now so we click on edit recipient lists or we can click on this one to upload and this one can be the editing but we know that we have got the correct thing so we simply go to insert merge field now first of all we did select recipients and uh, use an existing list we uploaded the data we attached the sheet to the mailings uh, mail merge feature now we go to insert here what do you want now these are the things which are the columns which are the headings here you can see all these headings from the first row remember this first row has to be filled in because the mail merge is going to pick up those things so now here we need the name so we go to insert merge field and we click on name now you see this name is in a particular font and a particular size so this is this one if I want to change the font I can change the font here and you know that this particular font that we are changing will be the font on all the certificates so this is a thing that we all need to keep in mind that we can customize now this is the size we can decrease the size to some ideal 24 or 22 which looks good now after this name you see expertise certified so we just press one enter to get it at the bottom of the line now an expertise is required to be certified so we again go to mailings we go to merge field so here we want to type expertise so expertise will come here will be fetched now grades earned so we say insert and then grade so all those things which are there here are not required in this certificate but we can have the date here so in this date we have got a text box here and the there's no outline to the text box so it doesn't appear as a box so we go to the date line so here is the date line which is here now if it is required that you want to have a different color here you can simply select this tag and you can uh, give it a color suppose we give it a red color and the expertise is also given red color and here it is now after doing all this 
we can just click on means we need to be on the mailings so we can click on finish and merge or we can click on preview results so here we are we are clicking on preview results so this is certificate number one and let's see let's show you the sheet we can see this is uh, we haven't added the mentor actually so we have got uh, expertise mail merge in ms word grade is excellent and here is the name so here it is and if you want that we we can we can have the initials here also so we go here we go to insert merge field and we go to initials now we can have one space between these initials and here it is so the heading of the excel sheet and the heading that you bring here has to be equal because we are bringing it it has to be same so here it is this is mr so and so and grade is excellent and expertise is certified suppose you are going to have something else here like uh, you want to have mentor and then this particular thing has to be removed and here in place of that what you will have is you will have another field which is the mentor one so if a mentor is here and expertise is here so you can see this now so the mentors have changed now from here you can move on to the next ones and one by one you can see even Hindi anything which is there in the columns is going to come up from here and you can't update things here now because if you update things here the already fetched data is not going to change so you can click on finish and merge and then print the documents what we used to do like what I do as a shortcut is I'll say print all but I'm going to save it as a PDF so if I save it as a PDF and after that I can separate them as a separate PDFs and documents and images and everything so here it is about making a certificate now we'll move on to make a letter a mail so we can save it as a Microsoft uh, print to PDF and then this PDF is generated and then we can we can take a print out of it or we can like convert it into images and send it to individuals or we can when we are printing it we can actually start from this document to that document or we can make a separate PDF or document now understand this mail this send email messages if you have got Outlook configured then this this feature can be used and this is how mailings and mail merges being used around the world that it is integrated it helps you sending emails through your Microsoft Outlook in bulk and these communication certificates also so now we have this letter this letter is going to be customized here we need to have something now the same process and we are going to do it very quick and these are the places we have just marked these stars to, to understand that we need to put things here otherwise when you're writing a letter you know it perfectly that uh, you need to insert something here and customizing things so we go to mailings we go to see now there's no nothing being merged here so we go to select recipients and use an existing list and we go to the same excel sheet if you if you see we go to the same and then we are going to like uh, bring that for us so we search it and then we go to that one we upload it and then we are going to fetch the details from the form responses like we, we ask people to fill a google form so that is the data we are using after customizing it we can change the headings like you you ask someone a question in google form and the question is seven words but after getting the data in the excel sheet it is possible for you to change it like your teaching subject can be changed into subject only so that will also save some space on on the draft certificate so city and state is possible so initials can be changed into select initials and then you can save this document and uh, when you are going to fetch this thing so what we'll do select recipient use an existing list we are going to get it again now so that, that we need to do so that is one condition that we need to fulfill that uh, the latest data has to be brought into mail merge so this one now form responses yes now you will see insert mail merge so very first thing let's put the date line then enter and then one more enter and then we'll write the name of the person then we'll write the maybe okay, initial can also be added here if you say name and then initials one space and then we can add the city and state if you say or we can add the email id here just for the sake of showing you that these columns can be brought in we haven't asked them for their pin codes and everything so generally what we do is we keep it in the bold in advance so dear let's go to initials then space and then go to the name then here we are going to put in you represent it so we are going to add on the state here so we say city and state and then do do arrange these spacing things and uh, so okay this one has to be corrected yes now we are sure that you will be great in enhancing your teaching skills of which subject 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 and do mark a full stock at time because that full step is going to remain we are pleased to award you this appreciation certificate or this particular letter is reaching them as a cover letter in the area of which particular domain so the expertise expertise yes expertise space and here is the grade now this grade is going to our recipients yes grade and a full stop and then from so we have got people who have signed it yes mentor now this grade you want in bold so here you are going to provide it bold we are sure that you have understood it perfectly now or you know it because when we are making these Uniskill smart ideas we believe that if we have covered it doesn't mean you have understood it we believe and we are with you in the practice as well so this name and initials can be put in bold and all these things can also be in bold and the line is not so here it is now preview so customized and customized and customized so here it is now one by one you can see all of them have been made so this is how this is we can show you this one every detail has been fetched so this is how you can make these certificates you can easily finish and merge and then send it so this is in the under the mailings we have got the mail merge feature 
so this is what we had today so this certificate belongs to you and you actually deserve this one and you are a male merge dedicated learner today and we are giving you this tutorial in recognition of your dedication teamwork and presentation in making certificates as well as bulk emails customized emails through the mail merge feature thank you very much for watching